A completely new look, Blender EV, 2D and 3D animation, new exciting features, a workspace that has an incredible amount of control and visualization that only scratches the surface of where Blender 2.8 is headed. Blender 2.8, in short, will be a game changer. In this video, I will talk about the UI changes and new Blender look in general, the new features to look forward to, the pros and cons of this big update, the expected release dates of the beta and stable version, and if you should start with the current build right away. I will also give you some useful links on Blender 2.8. Enjoy! As soon as you open Blender 2.8, you will first notice the brand new default theme that has changed from a brighter grey one to a darker, more visually appealing look. This allows for a better read all over the program. As your eyes start to focus, you will also notice that many of the menus have been repositioned and improved with the addition of new icons that will help identify the functions in Blender. A great addition in Blender 2.8 is a set of new workspaces that have been added to the top, each optimized for many different tasks that Blender has to offer, allowing a much smoother workflow throughout your exciting projects. As you start to look around these workspaces, you will quickly notice the beautiful new matcap look in the sculpting workspace. You hit the end button and move your mouse to the right looking for the matcap area to check out all of the new matcaps, only not to find it there. Fear not as it is up in the toolbar to the right where it says shading. You click on that only to expand a menu full of goodies that will only make your day better. This little section will make your viewport look so good by allowing the addition of things such as cavity, a controlled shadow option, outline and more. As you click on the sphere, you will notice a hand selected amazing looking new matcaps that will allow you to better see your models as you create them. And if these matcaps don't satisfy your hunger, you can now easily import your own. I would love to show you other cool things such as integrated HDRIs for easier shading, however, let us move on to overlays. With this new addition, you will have a whole new level of control on what appears on the viewport and what doesn't, further improving your Blender experience. You want to hide all of your lights, maybe even the cameras, now possible with a simple click. When Blender 2.8 comes up, you will, without doubt, hear of two Blender features, Eevee and the 2D animation tool Grease Pencil. Eevee is a real-time physically based rendering engine that has been a popular subject ever since it has been announced. Blender shakes the competition with this new render, opening doors to many amazing possibilities for, but not limited to, concept artists, game artists, animators, the average Joe, well basically anyone I can think of. I just can't get enough of Eevee. As you might have noticed from all of the demos I did with my characters and the Spider-Man scene. Not to mention all of the amazing EV demos from other artists that had been popping up on YouTube one by one. This is one of them that you must watch. If you think this is the extent of things you can expect of Blender 2.8, then call me Santa, because I have more things coming your way. You might have already heard of the Grease Pencil, which was initially created for annotation purposes. Now it is an impressive 2D animation tool integrated in a full-fledged 3D software, which makes it one of its kind. A feature 2D animation film Hero is being created in Blender with the Grease Pencil, and it is sure raising eyebrows. It has many amazing features, but just to name a few, you can draw, edit, sculpt, use the onion skin to see previous and after frames while creating an animation, add modifiers, and even effects on the spot. I made a little fun scene of a chibi Spider-Man and Mr. Fluffy to show you how 2D and 3D can be mixed together, which opens up many possibilities. The best part is that it is very easy and intuitive to use. Without any tutorials or previous experience with this tool, I was able to create these animations in no time. With the removal of layers, collections is now available. This will more or less be a new concept for Blender users, but very easy to get into. 
Instead of having a limited amount of layers that gave us no option to name them, now we can create as many collections as we desire, naming and controlling them to our liking. I would love to talk about every single new thing Blender 2.8 has to offer because trust me, there are a lot and with no doubt great additions that will change your Blender experience. But I promised myself to keep this video as short and sweet as possible. I will let you know in a minute where to get all of the updates but for now let's talk about the pros and the cons of Blender 2.8. Blender 2.8 will be a game changer. Not only does it vastly improve your workflow, allowing for a faster, more efficient and enjoyable ride throughout your projects, it also opens up possibilities to new stuff such as 2D animations, a mix of both the 2D and 3D world, real-time art and more. It doesn't end there though, Blender 2.8 is turning heads in the industry. This will create more job opportunities for Blender artists. This is actually already happening. Being a more intuitive software to use, Blender will attract more new users. Now that could be professionals or beginners and that might not seem like a big thing but that beginner might become the next film producer or content creator or even anything else that will further enrich and improve blender as a whole hence its users okay so obviously another con would be for older blender users if you're used to a certain way of doing things in blender then you might be a bit intimidated by all of the new changes you know with the new hotkeys the new positioning but trust me Blender is still Blender, it's still the same program. Modeling is modeling, texturing is texturing, sculpting is sculpting. In fact, it took me around one or two days to adapt to all of the new changes. So you'll be completely fine as long as you get into Blender 2.8 with an open mind and a tiny bit of patience. From the time I'm making this video, Blender 2.8 beta is set to be released around the end of October 2018. That's around the Blender conference. Also, the Blender 2.8 stable version, which is the one you'll be using for your productions, is set to be released early 2019. Now, if anything changes, I'll let you know in the pinned comments below. You might have already known this, but you can get the daily experimental build of Blender 2.8 through Blender.org. You can go ahead and test it out, but I do not recommend using it on any serious project. Instead, just open it up, get familiarized with all of the different changes so that you can have an easier transition when the stable version comes out. But you don't really have to do that, instead you can just watch videos like this to stay up to date. A quick shout out to the channel Blender Developers hosted by Pablo Vasquez who also runs the channel Blender Today. Throughout the channel, you can stay up to date in more details on the development of Blender 2.8 and Pablo has been an incredible host communicating all of the information with the community. All in all, I hope this video got you excited with Blender 2.8 because it is really awesome. Also, don't forget to leave a comment below letting me know if you're hyped. Feel free to ask any questions. Don't forget to share the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome character sculpts and art related videos. You can also check out my store for full courses on character sculpting, texturing, materials, brushes and more. Last but not least, if you enjoyed this video then you will definitely enjoy the next one.